Ramadan friends and Salaam Alaikum. Welcome to Ramadan Books in Nadia's Nook. Today we're reading Mikhail and Malaika, The Power of Dua by Kazima Wajat. In this story, Mikhail and Malaika learn all about Dua. Do you guys know what Dua is? Well, let's learn. So join me in your jammies and grab your favorite cuddly friend because it's time for... Ramadan books, Ramadan books, Ramadan books in Nadia's Nook. Welcome back to my nook, everyone. Are you guys all comfy in your jammies? Great, me too. Who's ready to read? Bismillah, let's begin. Mikhail and Malaika, The Power of Dua. Mikhail and Malaika were brother and sister, and they both had one thing in common. They were superheroes. At least, they used to be. One day, as they were walking back from the masjid after Juma prayer, they heard, Somebody! Help! Mikhail and Malaika glanced at each other and quickly whipped on their capes and rushed to the scene of the crime. It was time for another mission. What happened, Sister Sarah? Someone has taken all our shoes, she wailed. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this, Mikhail reassured her. The superheroes ran to the parking lot, raised both hands to the sky, jumped into the air and fell back down. They tried again. Arms outstretched, they sprung off one leg and collided with the ground. Malaika, our superpowers, said Mikhail. Why can't we fly anymore? cried Malaika. They needed answers. They needed Big Boss. Big Boss was in the middle of a classified utensil purification process. Big Boss, our powers, they're gone, cried Mikhail. Alas, my superheroes, your superhero lifestyle was only a 14-day free trial. Free trial? Mikhail and Malaika were shocked. No powers, no problem exclaimed Mikhail. We still have... Mikhail opened his super secret garage. Our super jet? It's gone! Mikhail and Malaika ran back to command post. Big Boss was skimming through a high-profile superhero manual. Big Boss, our super jet, it's gone! cried Mikhail. Oh, that old thing you flew on? I sold that on Spamazon, Big Boss chuckled. Mikhail and Malaika were lost. No superpowers? No super jet? What about mission disappearing shoes? asked Mikhail. Big Boss laughed. My superheroes, there is no need for your distress. There is one superpower you still possess. Mikhail jumped. Oh, I still have my super x-ray vision. Big Boss shook his head. Super speed? Not quite. Super strength? No. Super meal consumption? Big Boss raised an eyebrow. What? I get hungry shrugged Mikhail. The power of Dua is your greatest strength. Asking Allah will take you to great lengths. The power of Dua? asked Malaika. Yes, the power of Dua! Mikhail and Malaika exclaimed, running to their prayer mat. Oh Allah, you are the most merciful, the all-powerful, Please help us find the missing shoes. 
Mikael and Malika finished their dua and waited, and waited, and waited some more. Let's go check now. They checked the shelves. No shoes. They checked inside. No shoes. They checked outside. Still no shoes. So the superheroes headed back to command post. Big Boss was busy sanitizing the infantile waste unit. Big Boss, we've lost all our powers. Even our power of Dua. The shoes are still missing, cried Mikael. Have patience, my son, for an apple is only good to eat when it has turned red, ripe, and sweet. Mikael and Malika hitched a ride with Grandpa to the apple orchard. Oh, Allah, you are the most loving, the giving. Please, please, help us find the missing shoes. Mikael grabbed a small green apple from the tree. Mikael, wait! Blech, that was so sour. Malika stopped and thought. An apple is only good to eat when it has turned red, ripe, and sweet. Malika handed Mikael a bright red apple. Try this one. Mmm, sweet. Mikael and Malika returned to command post. Big boss, any news on the shoes? Questioned Mikael. Big Boss was training the new superhero recruit. Patience, my son, for a caterpillar will never fly if it doesn't wait to become a butterfly. Mikael and Malika raised their hands in the middle of the butterfly garden. Oh, Allah, you are the all-knowing, the all-aware. Please, please, please help us find the missing shoes. Mikael, a caterpillar! Mikael stroked the tiny green caterpillar. But why isn't it flying? He wondered. Malika stopped and thought, A caterpillar will never fly if it doesn't wait to become a butterfly. Look, the cocoon! It's moving! Malika pointed. Bit by bit, the cocoon began to shed. Out blossomed a beautiful butterfly. Mikael and Malika watched in awe. Mikael and Malika returned to command post. Big Boss was concocting his infamous superhero nourishment biscuits. Mikael sat at the table and reached for one. Patience, my superhero. Rewards are best when the time is. I'm tired of waiting. I've been waiting and praying for days, and my duo won't come true. Why, oh why, won't my duo come true? Mikael interrupted. Mikael, rewards are best when the time is right. Rewards will come with the law's might. Allah gives us ripe red apples to eat, but only when we wait for them to be sweet. Only by waiting will a caterpillar fly by turning into a butterfly, exclaimed Malika. And don't forget to ask Allah. He loves when we ask him and do dua, said Big Boss. That night, after Makra prayer, Mikael and Malika raised their hands in Dua again. Oh, Allah, you are the all-seeing, the all-hearing, the just. Please, help us find the missing shoes, but only when you feel we must. Mikael, Malika, come outside, called Super Agent M.O.M. Mikael and Malika couldn't believe their eyes. Behind the masjid, under the bushes, were fluffy newborn kittens, keeping warm in none other than the missing shoes.
Allah had made their dua come true. Mikael smiled and said, "Thank you, Allah. Rewards will come with Allah's might. Rewards are best when the time is right." Wasn't that great? How Mikael and Malika learned all about the power of dua. I think so too. Do you guys know how many duas are in the Quran? If you said forty, you're right. Great job! Inshallah, I can't wait to see you all tomorrow night when we read another book in my nook. Until then, good night and sweet dreams.